why is it so important to work safely with or near electrical circuits electrical equipment or electrical power lines i'll share few basic and mandatory safety precautions to avoid electrical shock electrical burns or electrical incidents number 1 the voltage of the electricity and the available electrical current in regular businesses and homes has enough power to cause death by electrocution even changing a light bulb without unplugging the lamp can be hazardous because coming in contact with the hot energized or live part of the socket could kill a person a major electrical accident number 2 if you like to avoid electrical incidents then you have to do a risk assessment for the work you are planning and make sure this covers electrical hazards and electrical controls number 3 learn how to recognize electrical wires these may be overhead power lines electrical wiring in a workplace or at home or maybe the cables buried under the ground number 4 get an up to date drawing a map of the services in the area and use it where you are going to plan your activity operations or work for your kind information updated drawing can be provided by the service provider by the utility owner dear friends and fellows you are on the platform of safety first life if you are first time on this channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues electrical safety basic precaution number 5 look for electrical wiring cables or equipment near where you are going to work and check for signs warning of dangers from electricity or any other hazard remember to look up down and around you number 6 if you will be digging or disturbing the earth or cutting into surfaces means you are excavating use a cable locator to find buried services and permanently mark the position of services you do find this is the best way of protecting the underground utilities from damage and as well you are protecting yourself in the case if there is some accidental contact with high voltage power lines buried underground number 7 always try to work away from electrical wiring electrical power lines wherever possible if you have to work near electrical wiring or electrical equipment ask for the electrical supply to be turned off and cannot be turned on again without you agreeing and this is only possible if you will apply lock out tag out procedure safety precaution number 8 if the electrical supply cannot be turned off consult a competent person it might be an electrical supervisor electrical engineer or a qualified skilled and experienced electrician who should be able to advise you on the best way to proceed and proceed safely and last point number 9 identify where it is safe to work put up danger notices where there are still live electrical circuits panels switchboards or the electrical lines and warn your co-workers where it is safe to work and where it is not safe remember to remove notices at the end of the work or the shift these are few only nine in number safety precaution but to be honest you can protect yourself your co-workers and colleagues if they are working if they are dealing on live electrical power lines or if they are working near energized circuits if they will comply if they will follow 
and if they will apply these precautions they can protect themselves and others and that's all for now if you have any question please ask in the comment section thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and share the video hope to see you soon with a new hsc tutorial until then take care good luck and goodbye